an, an interesting thing about um, Braxton's explanation is that it, it doesn't just multiply um, entities beyond necessity, right? Like, as in, you've got different kinds of things, but he's also multiplying explanations beyond necessity because, but between the new substances, there's relations that obtain, and those have to be explained by further things and and stuff like that. So it's so so he's introducing new like substances and levels and things, but those then there's relations between those things and laws that apparently hold between them, which need further explanation, right? When it could all be done by something else. So so Occam's razor doesn't just cut between like the substance that Brexton's introducing, but it's also ha those interactions and things introduce some um, complexity that's specified in like, like, what are these laws? And if, and if he can actually then specify them, he's then gonna actually create some empirical content to his theory that can then be tested, right? Potentially. We might not be surprised to find out that there are other questions related to the fact that God exists. And uh, maybe a lot more questions. I, I, we would do the same thing with quantum mechanics. We'd be surprised about that. But what about the idea that you know, the demonstrates that you can live consciously after your brain is measurably functioning? Well, obviously, this has a great answer to that. And also, it explains why many people have a very interesting afterlife sort of experience that they talk about later. This answers that perfectly well. Your body dies, but your soul continues. Your consciousness continues. Now, there is one problem. Though. It doesn't follow that because souls exist, they would continue after the death of the body. Now, that could be, that could extinguish the soul, right? Obviously, right, but that's most the evidence Christians, as I understand, don't believe in pre-existence of the soul. Uh, as a moment, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. We've got to stop there. Braxton can't use the evidence to support his explanation of the evidence. That's circular, right? The explanation is supposed to give an account as to why the evidence is the way it is. So when I ask Braxton, why is it that having a soul explains why um, the, um, uh, the, the the self continues after we die? Um, he can't say, well, that's the evidence we have. No, 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 you need to explain to me why the evidence we have is expected under the explanation. That's what explanations are supposed to do. Because I could say exactly the same thing. Well, why think under naturalism we'd have qualia? Well, because that's the evidence we have. You, you see, Brax is going to say, no, no, you haven't because explained that's anything. True, because it's true and that's how it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's he's mixing up the order of things here. It should, what, what it should go for is for soul to, ah, it follows from that, or, you know, we can see readily how it, it would follows as a matter of follow. course. Oh, no. Yeah. It follows. Yeah. As that's a how I, I like that language as a matter of course, which doesn't have to mean with certainty, but, but should be, you know, quite plausible and, and sort of straightforward. Um, it's not enough to just say, well, the reason we think it follows is because of the evidence that we're trying to explain. That's not a good explanation. That's fitting it to the data. Yeah. And, and it doesn't follow as a matter of course, that substance dualism is true, right? Exactly. <laughs> more sense right because oh, yeah. uh, even even though even though i did just just watch this um a couple of times before making this video i had forgotten that he said he was a mormon so okay no we don't believe in the spirit baby setup irrespective of the body and then they come and associate with the body and then dissociate from it. whereas it seems that most christians think it comes into being with the body or around the same time like i'd like more clarification then, about that is it just because he doesn't think that's what the bible teaches or does he have a a, a, a like a philosophical objection to it because because it seems that it's just as a, another plausible philosophical avenue that there's a pre-existence of souls but I'd be interested in asking that question, but he doesn't, he doesn't clarify. That raises then the question, well, then if the body is extinguished or destroyed, well, couldn't the soul also, like, you know, if, if it comes to being with the body, then wouldn't it go out of being with the body? But apparently it doesn't, like, that's just not how it works. That's just, yeah, that's not what the evidence shows. I guess God can do what he wants, right? But so he doesn't have an explanation for it. Hard. When he like, says that's what the evidence shows, that, that is him admitting he does not have an explanation for it, at least tacitly, like he may not be intending to do that. Uh, but the point of an explanation is to account for the evidence that you get the evidence out of, or at least, you know, probabilistically a large part of the evidence that you're trying to explain um, out of the explanation. It's not, it doesn't work the other way around where it's just like, well, yeah, the reason my explanation predicts it is because that's what the evidence says. Then your explanation doesn't do anything. This is why divine action is not a good explanation because you could just say, yeah, but w how is it that God's action explains this outcome? Well, because that's what we see happened. But then it doesn't explain anything, right? Because you, because it's equally consistent with any other possible outcome. You just say, well, well, that's what. Or happened. the exact opposite, yeah. It, yeah, the exact opposite. So, so the question here is, why is this result expected under um, uh, Braxton's view about souls? Not does he think that that's what is the case because of the evidence? It, I, I don't think he's being clear here about, or, or um, yeah, he, he's sort of cognizing appropriately about the role, the relationship between an explanation and the things it's trying to explain. The, he, he's reversing the order here inappropriately, I would say, because the naturalist could do this as well. And I don't think he would regard that as legitimate. The naturalist could say the exact same things. Like, why I think that we have identity over time, for example. Well, I mean, that's what the evidence shows. Like, well, that, that's what we think. Uh, or the evidence shows that we have qualia. So, you know, that, that it follows from naturalism that we do. You know, say, you so, know, but why would you expect that under naturalism? But th that's exactly my question for him. Why expect it under naturalism antecedently to observing the outcome? That's what the explanation is supposed to be doing. So the, the, there's the two sort of in principle objections here, one, one of which seems to be that it's not an explanation because it's equally as consistent with the evidence that it's supposed to explain not happening, or it's equally as consistent with any outcome whatsoever, right? God willed X. And then the other in principle explanation, I think, 
is um, the idea of sort of like that we're looking at what some event over the sample space of things God might have done, but that appeals to aspects of divine psychology. And if just theism is our hypothesis, right, rather than like theism where God wills X, right, and X is the phenomenon we're trying to explain, which is obviously, you know, that's going to be question begging. So um, if we if we appeal to just theism and then try to um, attribute like divine psychology as to why some ev evidence happen is observed, um, given that divine psychology, well, we just don't know, you know, like the probability space is just anything basically i mean maybe anything other than like just a world where just hell is instead like maybe there's a few things that are ruled out but it's not clear to me that it's um any that that's like particularly small it, it's going to be some infinity right it's it's not going to be smaller than the amount of ways things might have been on naturalism as uh just a bare hypothesis as well because the only thing theism entails is that a theistic god exists right that's the only thing th those are the worlds that are that um have to be the case on theism and those are the, the worlds that are arguably at least ruled out under certain definitions of naturalism.